his gospel in the prologue says, Dear Theophilus, uh, you know, I'm writing an orderly account for you, uh, giving you an account of all the things that happened amongst us. So he's intending to give a full account of the life of Jesus, a, a bios, a biography. Yeah? Why did Luke, did he not know that Jesus went around making these statements? Or if he did, did he deliberately leave them out? What, what's your theory? So why he specifically doesn't say I am? Well, we've got all these I am statements in John. Jesus went around publicly saying this, according to John, the last of the Gospels. Matthew, Matthew never bothered to mention it. Luke never bothered to mention it. Mark never bothered to mention it. He's never mentioned in Acts either, but we'll leave that one side. Why is it that no one in other Gospels knows that Jesus spoke in these amazing, extraordinary claims at all, apart from one Gospel, the last to be written? Well, I think he claims more than the other Gospels. He's just higher. Law's ambiguous. Curios in Greek can mean anything from a teacher, as it still is in modern teacher, it could still mean that, all the way to, to so Yahweh. Curios is the word in New Testament, meaning Lord. Okay. Yeah, It can mean teacher. It normally does mean teacher. It doesn't, it doesn't mean God. Okay, I, I there's a spectrum know. of meaning. Okay, well, there's some free information for you. So if I was to call you good teacher in Greek, it would be good curios, good, good teacher. As well. It does, but the context would tell you what's meant. One can't assume if one Jew is talking to another Jew in downtown Palestine, that one is telling the other guy that he is the law of God. That's not an assumption one would normally make. Okay, It would normally be that he's addressing him as teacher. So the law does not mean God. It can do, but it doesn't necessarily. And the context we're talking about almost certainly doesn't mean that. It means teacher or sir. Can you even just well, sir? That is, uh, I don't know how he's intended to be so, coming back to the I am statements, which are unique in only one place in the entire Bible, in the New Testament, I mean, only found in John. Uh, I see what you mean. Um, Why would I Luke know. leave this stuff out? If Jesus went around publicly saying this, and it would be widely known, Luke boasts that he's, he's, he's doing all these, uh, surveying all these things at the beginning, doesn't mention it, and ditto Matthew, ditto Luke. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, so isn't, assuming that I can't uh, find the verse that says Lord, I have to use I am the first impossible, but I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, I think, yeah, I don't know. it just seems a bit weak argument. I don't really like it. Well, what's weak about the argument? I haven't even made an argument. It's, it's, a, it's a question, not made an argument yet. I, I'm observing. I'm observing the Gospels and the, diff, the, the very different way Jesus portrayed in John than he is from the Synoptics, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. So I'm asking a question. I'm not making an argument yet. There is an argument, but I'm not come to that. I'm asking you. Given we agree on the facts, how come none of the early Gospels knew that Jesus went around talking like this? If he indeed went around talking like this, does this strike you as particularly strange and historically odd? That if Jesus had said these most remarkable things, made these claims, that no one seems to have known about it. Do you want to know what your scholars are saying? What are they saying? Okay. They have concluded, uh, for a number of reasons, not just for the reason to do with this issue, that the fourth gospel is a highly interpreted meditation on the significance of the life of Jesus for the author. It's not history. G so the argument is this. Oh, yeah. So the argument is this. The author of the fourth gospel believed Jesus was the light of the world, clearly. So he puts those words on the lips of Jesus and has Jesus say, I am the light of the world. He believes that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. I am the way. So he puts those words on the lips of Jesus. These are not historical words of Jesus, they are theological words put on the, his lips by faith, the Christian faith that believes that is, that is the truth about Jesus. Sorry, I, uh, I probably need to go. But of course. But, but these ideas are not coming from atheists, they're coming from Christian scholars, a number of which I mean, I've read. Yeah, I, they're coming from your I own scholars. Um, but you see, I from a Muslim... It's not the strongest to me. Okay, but you've got to, you see, 
I think the responsibility that I, I mean, I'm not, I don't really mean a moral responsibility now, but in principle, the responsibility of someone in your position would be to come up with an explanation, not to simply say I'm not convinced. Because the problem I mean, is I'm there. Happy to concede that even if the Bible has errors, it's still okay. But this is not an error. It's not. No one's made a mistake here. It's a deliberate portrayal of Jesus according to faith as it existed towards the end of the first century. That's not a mistake. That's deliberate. Okay. Right. Well, as in, like, if, if we're using the, if we're viewing the Bible as Bible Testament, New Testament, and then trying to build it to have a different perspective. Uh, that's not true. I guess we're going to the States on the right way. Uh, See, I've heard Christian scholars say, and very eminent professors, uh, again, ordained clergymen, say, just because, and they, they, they would agree that John is not giving us the historical Jesus, but they would say, and this is where you, up to you what you believe, or I believe, that it's still true what the Gospel of John says. It is true that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. It is true that where, you know, he is all those I am statements. It's still true, it's not historical. Now, I have a problem with that. Uh, you probably do as an evangelical. I can imagine I had a problem with that because it means you're believing in a, a make-believe story and believing it to be true, in not just in a literary sense or a theological sense, but in a historical sense. Because that means the real historical Jesus didn't say these things. And this, what the Jesus that's left is very much like the Islamic Jesus, a Jesus who was sent by God, a prophet, a messenger, and so on. And, th and, and that's where it leads, ultimately, if one is open to uh, that, uh, to the only religion on earth that gives us that understanding of the historical Jesus that matches historical research. I think that's difficult to believe. Okay. Again, you, you say this repeatedly without giving reasons why. Well, because the Quran came many years later. Did it? What do Muslims believe about the Quran? They believe it's the speech of God. Do you think Jesus, God was existed in time before the seventh century? Do you think he's a creature in the universe? Who's, yeah, okay, I get what you're saying. He's a timeless being. Yeah. There's no before, now, or present with Jesus, with God. I mean, so the revelation yeah, was received yeah. by Muhammad in the, in the time of his life, of course, but the revelation itself is not created by. It's just strange that he would seem to like correct the revelation. Why is that like strange? Isn't that something you'd expect that from he God? Made it wrong, but who corrupted it? No, no, no. Who came up with the idea of the gospel of Je about gospel about Jesus being that you that Jesus died for the sins of the world? It's not something Jesus taught. It was something that Paul taught, and Paul never met Jesus. Yeah. I, I don't against the debate. But, okay. Um, anyway, um, so these are some of the questions that um, I mean, Bob the Builder, you know, but he's not always the most easy person to talk to. <clears throat> whereas you're obviously very polite and uh, easy to talk to. So. Um, I should keep keep an open mind about Islam. Keep an mind about the Islamic understanding of Jesus. I think it. I find it very compelling because it's also the historical Jesus, uh, and that's where even Christian scholarship leads in that direction, in terms of who Jesus was, what he taught, for example. Um, and it will lead away from Christianity because, uh, as we understand it now, because that worships Jesus rather than God. And, and Muslims are very very keen on pointing out we should worship God alone, without partners, without associates. But Christians don't do that because they worship God and Jesus. I think they're both gods. Well, then you believe in two gods. I don't want to get into two. So <laughs> <laughs> or three, then. Fine. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I, I do have, like, uh, well, I find there's issues with the Quran and its preservation as well. And the Arabs, but, uh, you have issues with the preservation of the Quran? Interesting. Yeah, or that and, like, the. Um, well, like what the issues? Really? Oh, just, um, well, what's our oldest New Testament manuscript that we have in the world currently? It's the Codex Sinaiticus, which is literally a mile in that direction, the British Library. Yeah. Do you know what it's dated from? Mid fourth century. Yeah. That's the earliest Bible in the world. Mid fourth century. It's four hundred years after the birth of Jesus. What's the earliest in terms of manuscripts? Okay, so how, how, I don't want to go into my Okay, I thought that was you. you, well, you said that was an issue. It is an issue. Oh, so that's. Okay. It's in more like. Uh, we have, we have manuscripts going back to the time of the Prophet, that's what I'm trying to say, now. I mean, I think that's not fair comparison to the same thing. Really? But that's fine. Um, I'll concede that. It's more how uh, they had to burn the Quran's and the Quran had to standardize it and they were killing each other over it. To me, that just seems like there's clearly an issue. But 
So you've looked at, you, you don't want to get into that. Well, there, well I'll, a, I'll hear his response. But I think it's a misunderstanding of, of what happened uh, in terms of the recitation of the Quran and wanting uh, a, a codex, a, a written Quran as, as like a template, and it was copied and sent out around the Islamic Empire. Uh, as the Quran was recited throughout the empire, it was losing some people. It was beginning to be, you know, there were dodgy, dodginess was entering into it. We, we did to retain the integrity and reliability of the Quran. And so the original companions of the Prophet formed a committee, not just Uthman, and compiled the, the standard written version. Um, and any other copies were told to be destroyed. So it's, it preserved the integrity of, and it's now widely accepted by most scholars that the Quran we have today oh, David. is. How are you? Good. Hi. Oh, how are you doing? I was just about to be. Oh, do you going out already? Oh, I was about to be. Do you want to ask me? No, nothing. Cool. You just, you've been here for a while or just just came? Just a couple of minutes. Uh, I mean, good enough. Okay. okay. You had enough of the park? I, I have to exercise. Oh! <laughs> I'm already well, like, half oh. Uh, go, that, go ahead. Then. That's my fault for detaining him. So, come on, come on, Paul. <laughs> uh, you can take over for David. Right uh, take over for you. Uh, what's happening? <laughs> anyway, uh, um, yeah, I'm not sure yeah. we can just pass on the job. But um, so I think there's a misunderstanding about the actual story. Uh, but as I say, the preservation of the Quran is now accepted by most Western scholars. The Quran we have today is the same Quran we have at the time of the Prophet. Well, I, have, you, have you seen the Birmingham Codex at the Birmingham University? I've spoken to Professor Thomas, who's the head of department there, who's the expert on this. I've interviewed him on my channel. He disagrees with you. How's your Arabic, by the way? How can you tell what he's saying is true? So, um, <laughs> See, it's always the problem, right? You can make these claims. No, I'm not making these claims. Then it, okay. it, it, no, I'm saying, I, I've spoken to Professor Thomas, uh, who's at the University okay, of Birmingham. one person. Get, get, okay. Yeah, just one well, person. Stephen Shoemaker doesn't agree with you. Okay. Right? Okay, can I talk to this? And, and, and okay. then what? So, when, uh, when we... Uh, uh, Shoemaker, so, Shoemaker is, is, is someone else. I'm just talking about the... Right. But why can, can you believe that just because one person says something... He's not just one person. Okay. Who else says that... The Birmingham Codex proves that the Quran is exactly the same as when it was written down by either the vast majority, the, Sube, the vast majority of scholars, the, the vast majority of Western scholars. I do. don't believe they say they that. do. No, I've, I've read it. In what the are they let, let, let me explain. Uh, I spoke to. Uh, by the way, are you are you going now? Or are you going to stay? Church man. Uh, going to stay. Because we're, we're talking okay. about Jesus. Okay. Anyway, what's your name again? Lawrence. So think about Islam, think about the Islamic understanding of Jesus is more historical than it's, the later Christian one. He, he wasn't crucified in Islam, so it's completely historical. Sorry? Oh, well, this gentleman's going now, so... Uh... So anyway, th this gentleman, as I say, wasn't familiar with a lot of the issues to do with the Bible and the way Jesus portrayed in the Gospel, so... Um, you know? And the Quran, by the way, um, I, have, I have read academically, most scholars in the West today, even Oriental scholars, accept the Quran we have now is the same Quran that the uh, the companions of the Prophet upon whom BPs had, but we don't have the earliest complete Bible we have is four centuries after the birth of Jesus. So we don't have any way of checking there's nothing from the first century, nothing from this, very little apart from a fragment in the Whoa, second century. Huh? So I think this is. Yeah. Go to hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're all. Anyway, and yeah. you go to the hospital. 